welcome back to our channel. Last weekend I was going to film this video for you. I was so excited because I have finally mastered the sourdough tortillas. So whenever we make tacos now, I no longer buy tortillas, I make them. It's obviously so much cheaper and very, very tasty. So I was going to film this video for you and I was getting ready to film it. However, when I went out to check in the chicks in the morning, one had passed away, so that was really hard. Um, wasn't really planning on that. I was super set in. The next day I woke up and two more was were actually in the process of um, dying as well. They were really, really sick. So it was kind of a weird, weird weekend because it was super set in. They were sick. Um, they got this thing called coccidiosis and very common. It's a number one disease or sickness that chicks can get that they end up dying from. We had one chick that was sick, so we had three left. One was sick and two were like pretty healthy. So I went and got medicine for the chick and now Peep is pulling through and doing great. But then we recently today just got four new chicks. So now we have three like seven week old chicks and then we have four like five day old chicks and they're so cute. So I'm gonna show you those and then we're gonna get into the recipe. It was kind of a weird week and I wasn't able to film this video prior because I literally spent hours working on chick life. just. Every, ensuring everything was cleaned, giving them medicine, driving to get the medicine, which was like an hour one way, an hour back for this little packet of medicine, but it was worth it. Making them oatmeal with oregano and thyme and just like making sure that they were as good as possible. Cleaning their water out like every hour so that they couldn't get sick because what happens is one chick is infected and like moves and somehow they're like poof gets in the water, then the others drink and then they get the disease. So I was constantly changing it out because chickens are always moving straw and everything around and kind of digging and nesting and things were going everywhere. So I was really trying to keep their water super clean, keep their food super clean and keep them healthy. So here is the video now <laughs> that I am so excited to show you. It's sourdough tortillas and let's get going. Please make this at home. I'm gonna do a double recipe in this video so that I can freeze some so that we can have just more and I only have to make it once every now and then for them. So let's go. and we are about to make sourdough tortillas. So you are only gonna need sourdough starter, water, softened butter, salt, and then just normal flour, unbleached of course, and we are gonna get cracking and you are gonna wanna make this right after you watch this. So the first thing I do is I grab a food scale and that is because when you are making tortillas and bread recipes and things with sourdough, it's really great to have an accurate way to know how many grams you're using. So I started with 420 grams of unbleached all-purpose flour and then 200 grams of my sourdough starter. I did a fed sourdough starter and then 14 grams of salt and then one stick of butter. So 112 grams of butter. It ends up being one softened butter stick. Always make sure that when you're doing the salt, you'll always think 14 grams is a lot, but it is perfect when you do the double batch and it's distributed with like between 24 tortillas. Then I put everything in one bowl, let it mix. I just let it knead in my KitchenAid mixer until I get it to the right consistency. I add flour if I feel like it needs a little bit less tacky of a finish before I bring it and pull it right out of the bowl and put it right on a floured cutting board. And then once I have a floured cutting board ready, I just roll out the ball and I put it into one even circle. And I do that because then it is really easy to make really even cuts within the dough that I have. So I am gonna be making tortillas that are small for tacos, and you'll see I cut them into small little cubes. But if you want to make a burrito, you can make the sections much larger. That way when you roll it out, they're much bigger. So 
So once I have these done, I just cover them with a clean dish towel and I let them set for about 30 minutes. And then when they're done, I just take off the dish towel, get a plate ready, and then parchment paper. That way I can roll them out. I use a flowered water bottle versus a rolling pin because I don't have a rolling pin. And then you'll want to make sure that they're all rolled out before you begin the cooking process because once you cook, it's going to be very quick and you won't have time to roll out in between each one. And at this point, I have them all ready to go, ready to cook, and then I just get a dry cast iron stove, and you just toss it right in. You'll be very surprised that it's very easy. It does not stick, and you just leave it on for about 30 seconds each side, and then you have a cooked tortilla. You can leave it on or turn up the heat a little bit hotter if you want those nice big dark marks. I usually had them on like a medium high heat and I got the nice brown marks. I never really wanted the black char marks, but whatever you want for your taco, you can do according to your stove temperature. And that's it. And that's how you make easy, simple at home sourdough tortillas using your sourdough discard. I love this recipe. If you try it, please let me know. This is something that I just discovered a couple weeks ago and I have been doing it ever since because it's fairly easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. I made a double batch. So what you saw was a double batch, which is about 24, 20 tortillas. So I take the tortillas and I put them in within parchment paper, kind of back and forth so that they don't stick together, pop them in the freezer. And then as I need them, I can toss them on a warm cast iron skillet, reheat them and they're good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you here next week. See ya.